So you've just bought a little tube of these 608 bearings for use in a project and you think to yourself when you pull them out of the tube, well, these don't spin very well. They kind of they kind of suck, right? I mean, they spin, this is actually kind of heavy. I thought it would spin worse than this. But uh, when you pull it out, you know, you see other people spinning bearings and they just kind of flick it and the thing just goes, right? You see this one doesn't do that at all. So why is that? Well, these 608 bearings are great. Here's what the inside of one of them looks like if you've never seen it before. I just take off that little cover for you. They've got sort of a little covering that holds these little ball bearings and these little balls, steel balls in place. Um, and that minimizes the contact between the inner ring and the outer ring of the bearing, right? But so why don't they spin very well? Well, it's because when the factory sends them to you, they don't know what application you're going to use them in. In fact, the majority of these little 608 bearings, the reason they're so darn cheap is because these are the bearings that they use in skateboards. So when they send them to you, they're greased for a high load, high stress application. You need a lot of grease when you're working with something like that. And so because of that, they don't spin freely, but they could dissipate heat really well, you know, they could hold a heavy load like a, a fat guy on a skateboard, just great, right? But in the majority of my projects, at least, I'm usually wanting them to be, you know, lightning fast. I want them to be really fast and really quick. The easiest possible way is just get some WD-40 and just spray it in there. That's really it. It's really it. You spray a little bit of that in there, and what it does is it's going to get rid of the grease. Well, I don't know if it gets rid of it, but it mixes in there somehow. It makes it uh, much faster. And you'll see some people online say, well, don't you dare use WD-40. You're going to ruin the bearing. You're not going to ruin the bearing. You would ruin the bearing by using WD-40 if it was in like a high stress, high load application and you use WD-40, but it wouldn't ruin that. It wouldn't ruin the bearing because you use WD-40. You'd ruin it because there was no grease and it needed thick grease, right? So you saw, I just put a little tiny bit of that in there. And as soon as I just start working it, just the smallest amount, look at that. It's just going for it, right? Then you can see this little double pendulum that I had. Now it's working like a champ, right? It's that easy, it really is. So if you're having problems with your bearings, if you can't get them to spin like you want, like you want them to, try that. Super easy, you're not gonna ruin your bearings. Don't listen to anybody that says that you will. You won't, you'll be fine. If you think this double pendulum is cool, I sell them in my Etsy shop, so you can pick one up there. If you thought this video was useful, helpful, or you just like my shirt, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna have another video up later this week detailing how to incorporate bearings into your 3D printed parts uh, or other projects, stuff like that how to make them stay in place, how to mount them properly.